Just load in a cartridge, press the enter button, and the Fudini printer creates an attractive, edible mashed potato bowl. We're busy working on the software to get it to print faster. It has to go fast because it's not just about size and shape. The food also has to be served hot. The Fudini 3D printer will eventually accommodate up to six cartridges of pre-cooked ingredients. For now, it's only available for gourmet restaurants, but when it goes into production in China, everyone will want one. While 3D food printing the way we're doing it as natural machines is really getting people back in the kitchens and using fresh, real, wholesome ingredients. And if you think about 3D food printing, you're actually eating 3D printed food now if you eat anything that comes out of a food manufacturing plant, because the food manufacturing facility actually pushes food through machines and shapes it. We're doing the same thing, except the big difference is, is that we're doing it with fresh, real, wholesome ingredients that you control. Europe's first so-called fab cafe is only a few streets away. Here, guests can have themselves scanned. And while they wait for a 3D bust of themselves to be printed out, they can relax with a coffee inside. Besides themselves, they can also have other 3D products copied. Innovation and creativity are an integral part of Barcelona's character. And that's why this has gone down so well with the general public. Not just the professionals who already have a lot to do with high tech, but normal people as well. And different social groups, children, adults and older people too. Even global corporations like Hewlett Packard are in Barcelona to invest in the latest technology. It's put money into a new 3D research center which is also being supported by the Catalonian government. Meanwhile, ever more startups are popping up. The natural machines company has benefited greatly from the city's open-mindedness. Partly it's the people who are pushing it, but it's also the local government and authorities. They're subsidizing it so that people on the street come into contact with these kinds of technologies. But the Fudini can't actually cook or bake. So it's still not clear whether customers will cough up the 1,800 euros for this kind of 3D printer. The answer will come at the end of September when the new product hits the retail shelves.